Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us. They were like, oh, my God. I think those black guys are going to try to save us. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical five, Minominak drummer and a keyboardist. I have been for many many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't. Are you What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here to the video, guys. So you may be the forget. My name is Devin, and welcome to the press room. So, they're going to be reacting to the champion white terrorists want to take black people as hostage. <laughs> It is going to be our first time <laughs> checking this out. And we want to check this out to you guys. You know how it is. So, that is why they're here as well. Let's get into this video. I'm serious. One time racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. <laughs> I, I, was coming, I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out. Because he was Chinese. I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> Screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over. There was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him. He was looking right in my face. <laughs> he didn't say two words to me. He just looked at me. He was like. <laughs> 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 he didn't need to talk. I knew just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him. I was like. <laughs> Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us. They were like. <gasps> Oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. We were just communicating that we understood the situation. Yeah. We were both seeing the same thing. Yeah. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. <coughs> they is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. <laughs> uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve. <laughs> Just some new points. You're not going to see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. they terrorists. They know it's black people's bad bargaining chips. <laughs> they called the White House. Hello? We have got five black... Hello? be back in D.C. You know, I was thinking, man, this is, this is an election year. I'm going to ask you, you white guy, do you know who you're voting for yet? Don't know, do you? Now, you see that? You see what just happened here? Let me tell you something. That is a cultural thing. He knows who he's going to vote for. He's just not going to tell me. See? I've noticed that. That is a cultural thing. White people do not like to talk about their political affiliations. It's a secret. You ever ask a white guy who's voting for you? Hey, Bob, uh, Bob, who are you going to vote for? Dave, Dave, whoa, 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 take it easy now. Take it easy. So anyway, um, I was fucking my wife in her ass, right? And, and I mean, it was something else. Yeah, 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 but, but, but who are you voting for? Dave! Dave, come on with the voting. I'm trying to tell you about the fucking my wife here. Ask me all these personal questions. <laughs> they don't like to divulge that information yeah. 
because it matters to them. Black people talk about that shit. Black people will openly talk about politics. Black people will openly talk about beating up politicians and shit. <laughs> if I see George Bush, I'll kick his motherfucking ass for cutting my Medicaid. That's true. That's true. Okay, okay, okay. Why would you say it? But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people, see, see, even when I vote, right? Which I don't. But, <laughs> but, but even when I like, think about like, who I would vote for, right? I don't even look at their political policies. I just look at their character. You know what I'm saying now? You got to read. No, I'm serious. You got to read between the lines. Oh. Like, you know, you look at Clinton, and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on the campaign. I saw one thing on the campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, little nigger baby. Mwah! Just kiss him. I said, mm-hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see George Bush Jr., he be that, ugh. <laughs> Like, see, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now, listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. Not in the White House. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? The stakes are too high in the White House. Can't have no coke head president. Mm -mm. He be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. <laughs> Could be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on, sign the treaty, baby. It's a sister. I suck your dick. Like what the? Fuck? <laughs> Mr. President, that is not how we do business here, sir. Stop sucking the ambassador's dick. <laughs> no, let him finish. <laughs> I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel, finally. I'd vote for Clinton again if I could. At least it's always better. Now again, I'm not looking at his politics. Don't know what his politics are. I'm just looking at his behavior. <laughs> I understand that kind of behavior. I know a lot of dudes with them shortcomings. Weed smoking fornicators, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, come on now, let's, let's be honest, let's, let's be honest. Bill Clinton was not the first president to do what huh. he did. Now, now let's just, let's just Let's, let's think back for a minute. Remember a guy named, named Kennedy, John F. Kennedy? Remember him? He fucked Marilyn Monroe. Matter of fact, him and his brother Bobby fucked Marilyn Monroe. And history doesn't talk about that much. You know why history doesn't talk about that much? Because those two pages in history are stuck together. <laughs> they, they was getting it on. They were getting it on. I seen the tapes. Remember the tapes? She'd be singing on there. She'd just party, stressing them out. She'd be birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Bitch, my family's here. Mm. Clinton did the same thing, but he didn't do it like that. Because it's the year 2000, he's busier than Kennedy was. He was a busy man. Clinton did that kind of thing the way busy men do it. You know what busy men do? They fuck who's close to them. <laughs> I can tell that's what Clinton was up to. It looked like he just stuck his head out the office door and shit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you, you, come here, come here. I made my penis up for my 3.30, come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's probably looking at Kennedy's picture and shit. Oh. 
<laughs> and in the top it off, he. Damn. Oh my god. This was hilarious. Like. This guy, where is he from? America, I think so. Dave Campelli is he is very very funny. Um, his joke, uh, I feel like it it directs it to reality a bit. Um, I like how when he was talking about politics, it's really nice. And the topic itself, when it was like um, terrorists, they don't take um, black, black people as yeah. hostage. It's like. That part was really nice. Especially when he the Nigerian did his hand like this, then he did his hand to the Nigerian. Like, do you like, understand each other? Yeah, black understand black. <laughs> so the other guy said, the black are about to save us. us. <laughs> the black people don't do that. They run away, guys. They run away. They find an easy way out. So that that's just how they are. Um, this was amazing. This was entertaining. Dave, he's, he's something else, guys. He's something else. He's very hilarious. And he's... He's not stressing himself for the joke. The joke is just coming through him. And that was, that, that itself is commendable for me. I really like it. Um, from the airplane, um, when the terrorist was there, he moved to politics. Uh, mm. It was so amazing. And he was giving us histories. And that was also like a lesson, but also a comedy too at the same mm. time. This was amazing. Um, I love Charles today. Today we'll be we have to comment skate yeah, a lot. Nice. This has been amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed myself. This was so entertaining. Um, and this is actually my first time knowing about Dave Champelli. I've never heard about him before. Uh, so I'm going to check out more of his comedy skits. So keep the recommendation coming. Um, this was fantastic for me. This was fantastic for me. What do you think? I enjoyed it. I just loved the way he was so free. He just yeah. saying everything just based on the way he thinks. And just like what we were saying, that whenever I talk about who they're voting for, like, they just keep to themselves. But him is going to talk about who he's going to vote for, even if he doesn't vote. Like, he was just being so he was being yeah. simple and it was very entertaining. I love his energy. I love his style. I love, I love his performance. Like, he's a free person and he gives the best joke. Like, I enjoyed his joke from the beginning down to the end and I wanted more of it. It's, it's so nice. <laughs> I would love to see more of his videos also. Guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this with us. Many of us the YouTube channel. You guys know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all over.